offense. And the second Kings, the seventh chapter, and I want to read verse one, Elijah replied, the Lord says that by this time tomorrow, two gallons of flour or four gallons of barley will be sold in the market of Samaria for a dollar. Now here is Elijah. He's given the word of the Lord. The prophet is releasing the word of the Lord now. And people have an opportunity to hear or not hear, praise God. And so, and this is a result because uh, the king of Syria was at war with the king of Israel. And as a result, they had the city under siege and the famine hit the city and the products, the gas, the uh, uh, electricity, um, the things in the grocery store, everything went up. The prices were phenomenal. Um, certain things that you would thought would be dirt cheap. They had risen in price because of this siege. And as a result, God sends a prophetic word to the city, uh, to the church. Now, uh, we've been in, you know, we're in a rough time and, uh, the city, uh, no doubt they were thinking all kinds of things. It's rough here. And, uh, I wonder when things will get bad. I wonder when it will rain. I wonder when the, uh, gas prices will come down. I wonder... Uh, when this would happen, they were in a, just a rough place. And so then you in a rough place, you in a dry place and you get a word say, Hey, uh, things about to change around here. Things are the suddenly, the day of the suddenly is at hand. Suddenly God is about to do some stuff. I know yesterday you were in this place. You were broke, busted and disgusted, but suddenly I'm telling you, God is about to do something new. I know you didn't have a house yesterday, but suddenly I know you were sick yesterday, but suddenly. And so the prophet gives them a word and this word is like, uh, phenomenal. And one man said, uh, yeah, it's like, I don't believe that, you know? And the prophet says, in other words, uh, you're going to see it, but you're not going to get to enter in. You're not going to get to taste it because of your unbelief, because of your attitude, you know? And so, uh, we find the four lepers and I just want to read you their testimony. There were four lepers and they were starving. And, uh, you know, of course they were rejects, uh, uh, people did not want to be around them anyway, you know, so, but here's their testimony. Here's what was happening. Uh, this is verse three, second Kings seven and three. Now there were four lepers sitting outside the city gates and they said, why sit here until we die? Why sit here until we die? In other words, why do we keep going around in circles? Why do we keep uh, doing the same thing? Why do we keep with these vain traditions that are not producing any fruit? Why do we keep doing these things that we don't even know why we're doing them ourselves? We picked them up after uh, uh, somebody else. Long, why sit here? We got to make a change, in other words. Um, so they said, um, we will starve if we stay here. And we will starve if we go back into the city. We can't go back from where we came from. That's, oh, that's a horror. That's too much land to travel. And plus, ain't nothing back there for us. No way. Um, so we might as well go out and surrender to the Caesarean army. If they let us live, so much the better. But if they kill us, we would have died anyway. So they're at a place. They need to make a decision. Do we keep doing business as usual? Do we keep having church as usual? Uh, do we keep just staying in the same place as usual? Or do we move out? Do we make a decision uh, that looks like it may not be working, but at least we're going to do something? So they decided to go into the Syrian camp. And they said, we're going to go and we'll surrender to them. Okay. I just get a sense that God is saying, hey, I need you to surrender today. I need you to surrender your life to me. Surrender that plan to me. Surrender uh, what you are uh, going to do in the future. Why sit here? We can't sit in the same old place of praise, the same old place of worship, the same old place of thanksgiving, the same old place of giving, the same old place of studying, the same old place of uh uh, uh, moving out, doing churches. We think church be done. And uh, we got to go uh, to a new place. We got to come somewhere else with God. Uh, and uh, the door is open, but we have to make a decision because the place that we're thinking about going to, that does not look like the right place to go to. That looks like it's going to cost us something. That looks different, you know? 
But all thank God they show us uh, that sometimes you have to go to the place where you may not think is the place uh, to get revived, to get restored, to get renewed. And I just sense God calling us into a new place. And so they had to step over. And when they stepped over, of course, they found provisions. They found just as the prophet had said, praise God. I mean, there were supplies. And then I love the fact that they thought for a minute they had a vain thought. But they decided to share the good news. They decided to share that, hey, uh, God is up to something good, something good uh, God has released in our midst. Uh, there are uh, uh, provisions that God has released for us. Uh, there are uh, weighty blessings that God has given us. There's a uh, 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 joy and peace. There's increase. Our territories are enlarged over here. Our bellies are full over here. There's substance over here. God, is, there are blessings over here. There's living water over on this side. There's rain on this side. Oh, there's help for others on this side. Oh, you can bring your family on this side. Oh, bless God. Now, I just get a sense God is saying, all right, it's time. It's time to make that decision. I know it don't look like the way sometimes, but I get a sense that God is saying, hey, it's time to move. It's time to change. It's time to come higher. There's a the door of provisions that are opening. God is not trying to figure out what to put on the inside of there. It's already waiting. Spiritual blessings in heavenly places already waiting but we have to decide that we're going to cross over it it won't be business as usual it can't be natural it's got to be super natural god is calling us higher god bless i am